exposing the truth behind the George not found also allegations. Also, the fact that I said I was freshly 18, which is something a lot of people are mad about, when in reality, I was 18 and five months old. My bad. So ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite an eventful three weeks. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, let me remind you of the George Not Found and Catty Bug situation that has been unfolding. Because the backstory is equally as important before I get into exposing the lies that Catty Bugs is now possibly presenting in her stream that she did just two days ago. So here's the quick recap of what's happened so far. A streamer called Catty Bugs came out with a story in which she discussed how she was essayed by an individual at VidCon. We now obviously know that that individual is George Not Found. George then does his first stream responding to all the allegations. While some people then sided with George after this, a lot of people still criticized him of his behavior. We then jump forward to just a day later, where Katie then makes a long tweet, essentially breaking down George's points from his stream one by one. Then another retaliation occurs just four days later. George does his second stream in which he replied to all of Katie's response yet again. And then just two days ago, Katie came out with completely new allegations, seemingly out of nowhere. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> If you're clear your name, telling the truth, then somebody else just coming up with more lies about you, they got to be lying. But we, I don't know. I'm just here to react to it. I'm just a spectator. I don't know who did what, what's going on, who's lying about what. I'm just... I'm, I'm changing many details this. of the event, okay. introducing many new details, and accusing George of a lot more than just a hand under her waist, as she first claimed. This has sent Twitter into a complete frenzy, as a fair number of people are now accusing Katie of lying about serious allegations in an attempt to tarnish George Not Found's record. And that can ruin any person's career. That can ruin any man's career, bro. You really gotta watch who you let in yourself. You gotta really check. You really got to check these females because you cannot just go around and talk to them without knowing their age. And that's true. You got to check them. You can't just go up and talk to them. You can't be doing none, none of those funny, weird, weird shit neither. You can't be acting all wild. You can't be doing that. You can't. You, you got to set boundaries. You got to check people. ID, you know. You got to really check them. You can't just openly talk to them. Not knowing if she at that current age level as, as an, an adult. You got to take accountability and check them. You can't just openly talk to them. Because it, this, it ain't safe out here. <clears throat> you cannot just talk to people. You cannot just talk to anybody because they can get you in trouble in a matter of seconds and that will ruin any man's career reputation <clears throat> like really you gotta be careful this is the dangerous dangerous game reputation but in order to review the events that have unfolded <clears throat> let's take a look at the main moments of katie's final stream here's the main clip that i want to address first the one biggest thing that i want to clear up it is fucking sexual assault okay i'm not gonna apologize say that it isn't sexual assault that i'm not a sexual assault victim the touching that he is admitting has admitted to many times this touching that he admitted to not asking or getting my consent before he did he felt up my tits on a couch with other people there he stuck his hand up my shirt under my bra and felt up fondled whatever you want to say he felt up my unwanted sexual touch is literally oh she's saying that he was actually there <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, get this out of the way. She's saying that she, you know, she already admitted that she's you no, know, she's a grown adult, but that's not the issue here. The issue is she claims, oh, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know if he did it. Or he actually did it or she's lying or what, but she's saying that she is a grown woman, but she's still been basically violated. And this has something to do with real life. I thought it was something to do with like online, like him not knowing her actual way. I thought it was that, but it wasn't something completely different. So my bad for assuming that, but um, it 
there's something to do in real life that she claims that happened to her, which I don't know if it's true, and I don't know if he's telling the truth or nothing, so, you know, I do not know. the definition of sexual assault. It's fucking sexual assault and i'm never gonna apologize for saying it is now this has developed a lot more and i'm gonna be honest and say it i think katie is genuinely lying now you're welcome to disagree with that opinion but the truth of the matter is we went from it being just a hand on her waist to this absurd jump and what's worst of all despite katie's own friend claiming that there was loads of proof none of it has been shown and i don't get why this new story account is suddenly appearing now when george literally said in his live stream that he had his hand on her waist katie didn't disagree with what george said at all but now she's come out and said no a lot more happened not just that but where was this whole story before and why wasn't it mentioned when she first came out from the very beginning katie's story has been made out to present george in a very malicious manner she constantly addressed herself as freshly 18 but the reality was she was 18 and six months my bad that's halfway into being 18 oh she did lie about her age okay now the truth is coming out she did lie about it that's her that's on her People need to take accountability. Their parents need to really check their children. Like, don't be going online lying about, you know, your age just to talk to some dudes. That's going to get him in trouble, you know? You see how that can backfire? Like, that can really get the other nigga in trouble. Like, you can't just do that. You got to take repercussion accountability or something. That's not cool. That's why, like I said earlier, you really got to check them. You got to check these females. You can't just talk to them. People lie at their mouth. People lie a lot every single day. People lie to your face. You don't know who's telling the truth, who's not. You gotta pay attention to signs, actions levels of maturity all that you know the word freshly has just been put there for the sake of making george look bad regardless of if she was 18 18 in one month 18 in six months the matter of the fact is that she was 18 she is an adult an adult capable of making her own decisions which apparently includes underage drinking but that's not even close to where it ends because there's more of katie's story that has fallen apart this screenshot is supposedly a message from george's own friend to katie at least that's what we thought at first but during george's response stream he phone called this friend to see what actually happened so i reached out to my friend to talk to him about it and it turns out that he actually didn't send this message i'm gonna play a phone call that i had with him after i found this out just because i think it gives more context what's up so there is a text that is claimed to be from you yeah i didn't send that text um i found out about it when you sent it to me um, but yeah, no, that, that wasn't me. I don't know where they got that from. I didn't ask them for any of their phone numbers or anything like that. And that's the first part of Katie's story that falls apart. So let's see what she said about this. I do, there is something I'm fully owning up to and, and clearing up right now. The screenshot, uh, that I, my recent response on Twitter, this is the only kind of, like, response thing I'm gonna give, uh, I will acknowledge. That was a complete miscommunication. There's a screenshot I said was from his friend that wasn't there for the assault, mentioned our ages and acknowledged, you know. The situation was weird. It's a real screenshot. What I got wrong and what was miscommunicated was who it was from. It was actually from instead of the guy who left or wasn't there for the assault, it was from the girl who wasn't there for the assault. Um, which I acknowledge is frustrating that I got that wrong, and I didn't realize I got it wrong until after I posted better realize, it. You better realize, you better realize real quick. Don't be lying on people's uh, names. So long time after, quick, yeah. and obviously <laughs> when I don't come out and say, "Oh, I got that wrong," when he's the one to come out and say she got that wrong. It makes that into the biggest deal. So I just find it very, very strange. Now, while this isn't a big detail, and we'll clear Kate. But so when someone correct you about something that you was wrong about, you want to get mad, you want to get frustrated, you want to play victim. Like you can't do that. Like you gotta own up to your accountability. You can't just wait till someone call you out on your toxic behavior and then just get mad for no reason. You can't do that. That just shows that those type of people that, that's trying to get people in trouble. They trying to get them 
They're trying to make the other person look bad so they can play did say that it was a genuine mistake, there's still many aspects of Katie's story that are falling apart. And now, it just seems like a desperate attempt to ruin George's career. For example, until George mentioned that before any touching happened, Kim and Katie were on a couch, cuddling for well over an hour beforehand. But Katie never mentioned this once. And in my opinion, that's a pretty big detail. Because how Katie made it seem in her response is as though George walked up to her and just started touching her up out of nowhere. The reality was, she was cuddling with him for over an hour, play fighting with him, being touchy back, and so on. Body language plays a huge part here, and the fact that Katie yes, left does. so many bits out, I think really shows her true intentions. To add to this, Katie and her friend go- See, when you're up in success and clout, fame, whatever, you really gotta watch how you be around these kind of females, because they can say any allegations, allegations about you that could hinder your career, that can cause you to get slander that can ruin your reputation have all your supporters turn on you or anything like that or also um they can cause you to stop getting sponsorships brand deals like you gotta really check these people it's levels of maturity you cannot just be around random people and thinking shit ain't gonna happen to you anything can happen you can get accused just by Something you didn't do. And all it takes is that one bad day. You got to check who you're around. You can't be around people thinking shit ain't going to happen, you know? Fruit, who's also a streamer, have two stories that contradict with each other. Katie claims many times that she was drunk before she went to Dream's Hotel that night, but then you've got Katie's friend, who was with her when this happened, saying no, we weren't drunk before we went to Dream's Hotel. So how exactly are there two people who were both there together with two different stories? This is exactly what Ghosty Fruit wrote up, on Twitter. We stories. were there two nights. The first night we were already drunk when we got there, the second night we didn't drink until we got there. So I honestly think she misspoke, because there's no way any of us could have drank at the insta party because one some of us didn't get in and two katie wasn't 21 so who actually is telling the truth because i think your friend contradicting you when she was there with you on the night is a pretty big deal a lot of people are also skeptical over another aspect of katie's response here i'll roll the clip for people saying take legal action do you know the odds of winning an assault case like there's a reason there's a one out of three girls are assaulted in their lives okay there's a reason so many of them don't come out about this the system you would like to believe that it's always for you the amount of she's talking about real pe real females that actually are victims but i don't know if she's actually a victim or she's actually lying about it people say she's lying about it i do not know I really don't know. Just keeping it neutral. I really don't know. Loki look like a red flag on her part, though. The fucking injustice that happens with our system is insane. It's absolutely insane. And you sit here and see someone come out about their story, and your immediate thing is, well, take it up with the law? Like, that will serve any justice. Um... Well, that's kind of the point. Like, if you've been, you know, harassed in any type of way, supposed to press charges if that actually happened to you you can't just go around and i mean ain't nothing wrong with exposing the truth speaking out telling your story everybody should if it's the truth but it's weird when a bad person find the opportunity to quickly slander somebody's name while while a real victim they are afraid they're scared they traumatized they don't know what they what can of like how it's going to affect them when they actually do speak out because they may lose a certain career or they may get hurt even worse or something bad may happen to them like or somebody just won't believe them you know got two types of people she may be the one that's just throwing allegations on people she may be the one that's lying you never so know. fuck you 
Um, and that totally makes zero sense to me. Just a day after Katie came forward with her allegations, her friend Ghosty Fruit said that we should all support Katie because there's loads of proof to back her. But no one has seen any proof over this entire situation. And if there was so much proof, why wouldn't she make it a legal case? This is a huge situation. If there was so much proof, it would be a relatively easy case to open. But I think the fact of the matter is, there is no proof. And it's just a bluff that Katie's friend is making so that we support Katie with her lies. Katie called George out for lying about things in his response and she claimed that she had called them out publicly on Twitter but nobody's going after him. Everyone seems to be attacking her. I will acknowledge that there are inconsistencies but when I have inconsistencies in my story and I address them and I acknowledge it, my whole story's out. It's in the trash and I'm seen as a liar for inconsistencies but when he has an inconsistency or when, you know, even... Um... What if you practice getting your lives together and then going up on camera? Like, what if people, like, they get their lies and a lot of things built up, you know, they practice what they're going to say before they actually tell and expose it. What if they, what if someone like her actually is lying about it, but she's trying to play victim. But then again, like I said, I don't know. Who's innocent, who's in the wrong, who's telling the truth, and who's not? She could be telling the truth, she could be, but any, then again, she could be a hypocrite, lying, contradicting her own self, or whatever. And the 21 Bruce Band thing, saying I had a band that said I was, you know, when he has an inconsistency, and I prove it wrong, have video footage of it, it's still used against me to this day. His inconsistencies are taken as the holy fucking grail and as the truth, even when proved wrong. But I haven't seen anything being called out. I looked everywhere. Where was George ever called out? Where did George's story fail? From what I know, George has yet to be proven wrong. George's entire response consisted of actual evidence, genuine visible proof, whereas Katie still has given nothing. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I am very curious what your guys' take is on all this. Please do comment down below. Honestly, tell me, who do you believe in this situation? Because from a perspective of someone who's provided more evidence and whose story has fallen through, I've got to say I side with George, and I will continue to do so, unless some insane evidence comes out against him, which, again, I highly doubt it will. Anyway, I think that's all for now. I'll keep you all updated as always. Subscribe to the channel to help me hit 9,000 subscribers. We're literally so close. Please do help out if this video was informative. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Catch you guys in the next one.